Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here in the latest addition to Emanuel Christian School. Emanuel Christian School has been serving the greater Hazleton area community for 40 years, the high school portion of that school for 20 years, and now a brand new location for grades 7 through 12 in what was the former Hazleton National Bank building right at the corner of Broad and Laurel Streets in downtown Hazleton. We are on the mezzanine and we are very pleased to be joined by the CEO of this wonderful school, Susan Selby. Susan, this is a big day for Emanuel Christian. You are really expanding. We are expanding and this is a big day. We have 55 high school students now, which is our largest high school ever and 154 students total for the school. And we are thrilled to be in our new high school space. So now grades seven through 12 are in this facility. You still have the uh, younger grades at your other facility. So tell us a little bit about that. That's right. So grades uh, kindergarten through sixth grade are still at our Hemlock Street campus, which is in the old Jewish Community Center. That space was newly remodeled just a few years ago, thanks to the generosity of some financial partners who made that possible. And now grades seven to 12 are at this location um, with more financial partners who made this possible. So there's a lot of grace of God in this whole story. You took us uh, through it on a tour to see it. And I know right over your shoulder, there's a special space that you hope that will be very versatile for the students here. So this is the biggest space that we've ever had for a high school. It's over 5,000 square feet. And at the same time, it's only 5,000 square feet. So we need every space that we have to be versatile and multi-purpose. So we are hoping to purchase X-Bricks from Muzo, a company that's in Valmont. Students can sit on them as seats like chairs, or you could stack them all up and have it be bleachers where you could have choir practice. What do the students think of all of this? I think overall the students are excited, especially the students who have been here a long time. There, some of our high school students have been here with us since kindergarten, and they have, they and their families have weathered the transition over the last five years where, where we've moved several times. It's very, very exciting for them to see how the school continues to move forward, and it also just shows incredible dedication of parents to what we're trying to do as a school and the ways that we're trying to grow students up to be the future leaders in the city of Hazleton. You offer a variety of classes here and there are electives in that, but you told me you're also connected uh, kind of worldwide that they can take AP classes here. So tell us about some of the curriculum and what is available to the students. Yes, yeah, so we have our normal high school curriculum that you would expect. In addition, when COVID happened, we went to a hybrid model that year um, where some students were in the building and some were at home and, and they switched every other day. Uh, we wanted to maintain in-person classes, but we did want um, more space that year because uh, we were all learning about COVID. So we ended up partnering with a Christian cyber school called North Star, and they shared their online curriculum with us to, to help the um, hybrid model go better. And now that COVID is done, we're not doing that anymore. All of our classes are in person. However, we've maintained that relationship with this partner. And so it gives our students the opportunity to take some more electives. So we have students taking studio music and psychology class and AP computer science and AP calculus. And yeah, there's, there's more options for them, which has been a really good partnership for us as a small school to be able to expand the offerings that we have. And I know this fits with your mission. You want to be part of downtown Hazleton. I have to say the vision for us being downtown was is from Mr. Nolden. He's our chancellor and he has been with the school for over 30 years. And he has prayed and walked the streets in Hazleton and really had this vision placed on his heart that we would be part of the downtown community. And part of that is he, he wants all of the students to take ownership over the city and realize this is their city and they have influence and to make the city what we want it to be. I think that this project in particular really shows uh, the change and growth of Hazleton. Not only that, we have high school age students right here in our downtown that are doing 
in addition to their in-classroom work outside in the community in the downtown whether it's lunch or their PE class or even some of the other classroom elements um, that they do we're different we've got a real buzz going on downtown and I really think that this project in particular that launched uh, with the new school year this year is a great example of that energy spirit revitalization so how many buildings have you been in since you started here I've been in three buildings. I've been in the Locust Street campus, the Hemlock Street campus, and now here in Bar Street, in front of Luzerne Community College. And what grade did you start? Um, I started in sixth grade. So what has Emmanuel Christian School meant to you? It's meant a lot, um, surrounding me by my Christian faith, that I believe in God and in Jesus. And I like that in all my classes, it's, it's always centered God around it, and it makes me feel comfortable and a part of a family. So I started at Emmanuel Christian School in 10th grade, right in the height of COVID. At the beginning, we were actually like part asynchronous and then like part time in school. And then over the past like 11th and 12th grade, now we're full time, obviously back in school. So this is your second location? Yes, this is my second one. I was on the Laurel Street campus, which was really fun. Um, even though it was really small for all of us because there was so many kids in one building, it was really fun and during that time because like there was times where we're like, we'd be all sitting next to each other really close. It got, gave us a chance to get a lot closer to each other. And what do you think of this facility? I think that it's all God, and I am so grateful to be in this building. I didn't know if we would be a part of this. I didn't know if it was going to happen this year or next year. So to even just see this is so cool because I just feel like it's God really being like with us and through all of this with us. I'm glad you mentioned this, this beautiful painting behind us. Tell us a little bit about that because each one of the students had a hand in this, literally. This was actually an idea from our art teacher, um, Mrs. Arrow, and her idea was each student in the art classes would be a part of it. So this is actually the one I did right here. And when we were doing it, we had no idea what it was gonna look like. So we just saw this like part, she told us the color, and we're like, this looks really weird. But then when it all came together, we actually just got to see it for the first time today. Like, it's just so cool. And it kind of reminds me of God because we don't always see his full picture in the moment. But when it's zoomed out, when we get to see the full thing, it's just so beautiful and it really shows how artistic God is and also our art teacher. <laughs> So anyone who's interested, it is admission season right now. So they can give us a call and speak to our admissions manager, uh, Jessica Lenny, or they can simply email admissions at icshazelton.org and we'll get them set up for a tour and uh, take them through the steps for admissions.